Hello everyone, welcome to this new video. In this video, I'm going to show you the concepts of generators in Python. Now, if you're not familiar with generators, don't get worries. In this video, I'm going to crystallize your concept. Now, what is generator? Generator is a function. When it's not created a function, it is an object what is iterable. Now, if you're confused about what is iterable in Python, iterable is a object what you can iter. Now, what is iter? What is iterable? What is iterator? It means if if you can check that if that object you can for each that object and if that contains multiple data, then it's an iterable. Example as a list is an iterable. A dictionary is an iterable. A set is an iterable because it contains multiple data as well as you can for each them as well as a generator is also an iterable. But the difference between these iterables and the generator is it's really, really fast. You probably wonder why is it really fast? Because in our Python list, every time it returns a whole a list containing all the values, right? But in generators, it slowly gives you the values and it's really, really fast and it gives you a value as an object directly. Now, what's actually the difference? What's the difference? The main difference about there? Let, I'll show you as an example. Example as a normal function. This is our normal function. In this normal function, I used a list to get all the names of it. In that list, I have like multiple dictionaries containing name and age. Now I want you to get the names of it. How do you do in your base knowledge? You will for each of these and you will add another list. In, in that list, you're going to add all the names and in the end, all the lists will be returned, right? This is your, this is your uh, algorithm based on the concept, based on the knowledge you know. But using generators, you're gonna do is actually return them every single time. So in generators, I'm not gonna return anything. I'm gonna yield them. Now yield is a new keyword we're gonna learn in this video. So what do you mean by yield them? Yield them means I'm gonna generate all those values and putting in the packets. When I actually put a function that returns a list or an iterable, what I what they give me was a handful of a lot of things. It just gives me a lot of data in our both hands and just I have to carry them like this. But no, generators and as another concept. Generators use is in a pack in a bag, they give you all the things, and in this bag you hold them and just go away. This is a really simple way that generators works. So, this is how generator works. Now, generator is an iterable, so you can actually for each them and get the values, and you can also use the next function to get the values. So, enough talking, let's just open your fire term and get into it. Okay, so let's just create a new file named generator. Now, let's just make the difference between generators and normal function. You know what? Let's just make a normal function. What would you like to power up all the values? Suppose I have a list containing one, two, three, four, five, and this will power up like one square, two square, three square, four square, five square. It's gonna square all the values, and I'm gonna work on that. So here I've created a def called a square which will contain a list and the power. And let's just pause the values first. Here I'm going to run square pass in the list and I'm going to say 2. Here, the square function would return a particular list, right? As are your base knowledge, this is a normal function. I'll say for i in lst l is equals list and l dot f and i to the power power and in the end I return l. I got this program. As you can see, it power ups all the values. Simply. Now this is a normal function 
and this just gives you like that concept right it gives you this concept that we give you hands full full of things and you just gotta walk with them like this yeah remember that yeah this is what they gives you but if i use generators here so i wouldn't actually use a return statement it's like returning every single time the return mean returning a thing i'm taking it and putting it in a bag putting it in a bag putting it in a bag until it's finished so this is the main concept of a generator i hope you understand so let's just keep it Let's say for i in lst, here I'll use yield i multiplied by power. Now, if I run this program, this will return an object, which is a generator object square at this id in our memory allocation. That's an hexadecimal id. So, this is our generator object. Now, as you can see, this generator object returns an object. Now here I'll say square is equals to square lst comma two I'll say squares. Now all those pack bag and all those data in these bags, I'm just gonna open them and see what's inside them. Here I'll use the for each using squares and die at the end. So it turns one full name. So as you can see, those data are packed into a bag, and I'm taking the bag, and I can easily iterate it. There's one more way you can iterate them: is using the next function. Here, I'll use the squares dot next. By using this next function, you can get the first value. So, if you're using the next function for the first time in your code, it will get you the first value. If you use a second time, you get to get the second value, third time, and get third value until it reaches a minute limit. It's gonna show you an error. Stop iteration. So I don't recommend you to doing this because every time you'll get an error after stop iteration, your program might break if you don't handle any exceptions. So I recommend you to use a for each for this. So this was the main concept of generators and functions. I hope you liked my video. This was a really interesting video. And if you're any part you're not understanding, you can actually comment down below. And before ending this video, I will recap everything what you have learned today. So we've learned generators. Now generators is a object containing multiple data in a packet. So it's a difference between a generators and a functions. Our generators are actually packet the data and the functions are returning you directly. So thanks for watching. I hope you see you in the next video. Goodbye.